Hello and welcome back to another episode of A Build A Day. Um, today we're doing an interesting build. Um, so the past couple of builds have been a little bit of experimenting. Um, you know, we built the, uh, the house on legs. Um, that was pretty cool. And then we, we've revamped it because, yeah, the house it needed it, so we did that. And now we're doing some more uh, sort of experimenting. So I decided to give myself a challenge and build a thin boy. Um, yes, this building is very, very, very thin. Um, four blocks uh, wide. Yeah, very annoying. Uh, incredibly, incredibly annoying. Um, I didn't do an interior because where on earth am I supposed to put it? Uh, the interior is two blocks wide. If uh, you have all the walls on, if you remove one of the sides, it's three blocks wide. So you get a staircase, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it, small interiors are rather difficult, but you know, Small exteriors are also relatively difficult, um, and it's also in a more modern style. Um, so yeah, I, I have added some of my sort of, I guess, medieval flares to it. The floor, um, you'll probably notice, is slabs and. Um, uh, stripped logs. Um, I've got some of my, my my nice medieval gradients in there and stuff. But you know, the entire style of the build is is pretty pretty modern. Um, and I was all over the place with this build as well. Um, it was yeah, it was a whole thing. I started building one of the sides, and then I started building the roof, and the roof is floating because I needed like something to put up there, but yeah. It's also built out of dark prismarine because um, I like that block. It's it's really nice. Um, all of the prismarines are actually. They're all quite nice blocks. Uh, but there we go, we're adding, we're adding diorite. Um, do you like diorite as well? Diorite's pretty cool. Um, I added crimson uh, stuff. Which is also pretty cool. It's just a lot of, what if I did this? What if I did that? And does that work? Maybe? Um, so I mostly did the front. Um, sort of these uh, these windows, big old, big old windows. They all look pretty much the same until I start properly giving them some, uh, some details. Um, and then adding like a, a border because I, I didn't really want to continue the gradient down the sides. I thought that'd be a bit boring and you know it, it's like a row house you know you'd put this between like two other bigger buildings or something so you probably have the sides of the building just being like concrete or something so I, I sort of took that idea and went right brown concrete powder uh, and then, so I put that down there, and then I started finishing the roof, because um, why not, I guess. Um, and then added added all the uh, the brown concrete powder in with uh, with weld edit, because weld edit is useful, very useful. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically what I what I did to build this this building is a couple of gradients. Um, brown concrete powder, as I said, on the side, and just uh, finishing some uh, some sort of those those side details. Um, I did something to do with one of the floors, I think. Um, I don't really know, but I, I did like doing these side details because you can just like you know stand on top and then just close all the trap doors. It's quite fun. I would not recommend it in survival though. You will die if you go too high. Because um, if you click it too quickly, 
it opens them until you can't reach them. And then you hit the one that you couldn't reach. And then you go again. And if you if you go too high, obviously, you take enough damage to um to die. I then also realized that the front of the building was a bit boring, so I tried adding a a window. The window didn't look great. Uh, so I, I made it into a balcony. Because why not, I guess? Um, that was uh, that was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, this this balcony was a lot of pain because I put stuff in the wrong positions, and then I had to extend things out, and then there was gaps because it was, you know, not enough space, and yeah. But we got that done. Um, I also wanted to jazz up the side of this roof, so I added in a, a little chimney. Um, and then like a, a way of getting onto the roof, you know, so I added like a little doorway, um, a sort of building the thingamajig. Don't really know what they're called. I guess a door, you know. Um, but yeah, did that. Finished the chimney, because um, I don't know why I didn't actually finish it, but there you go. We have now finished the chimney, uh, finished the edge of the roof, and now we will edit in the old walls. There we go. Beautiful. Right. Details. Gotta add the details because they're useful. So I think we started down there with the. Uh, the planters on the sort of window sills. Um, I uh, mixed it up a little with some of the uh, sort of leaf boxes um, and then added some lights at the front and a little vine sort of working its way up because I couldn't really think of anything else to add. So I popped that in and I think that was. Oh yes, no, we added some other, I guess, shutter type thingies. Um, I mean, the one in the middle isn't really a shutter. It's, I mean, it's fences. Oh no, not fences. What am I on about? It's signs, um, which, you know, I don't know how they're shutters, but the other two are sort of shutters. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. Doing a, a 360 around the build and the video is over. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow.